Let me guess. Full fry up and pancakes. Mate, I'm starving. <laughs> but we ate so much last night and I've woken up. It doesn't work anymore. It doesn't, food doesn't work. <laughs> All we do is eat and cycle. Hollow legs. <laughs> Good morning, welcome to today's video. Uh, today, we're riding into this headwind for a long time. We're heading to a town called Florence. Uh, it's the last day before a rest day. Our legs are absolutely smashed. And look, we finally found the quickie mart that Lawrence wanted. Remember the one he was looking for where he missed the ferry? Dreams. I remember talking goals. I remember it all. I will give you my soul. I remember when you cry. I remember when you laugh. 20 something miles in. Strongest headwind ever. It's taken us like two hours. No, it doesn't take us that long. Hour 45. <laughs> you enjoying it? No. Are you? No. Just keeping the healthy um, food options going. These ones are actually quite nice. I feel alright, I feel just feel like quiet more than anything else, but I want to go to sleep. Yeah. I I'm nodding off while riding. I went to sleep at like 10 o'clock last night and woke up at 10 o'clock. We got 12 hours sleep. Not good. Sir, I feel a little bit underdressed. <laughs> Well, we, we went into a bar and grill, and well, the man oh, outside was like, "Hey, boys, come and get a drink." I went to the bar and said, "You know, can we, can we bring our bikes in?" And there was a space there, so she was like, "Nah, it gets really busy in here in the middle of the day." Pull yourself to me, mate. I'm starving. What are you doing? Morning. Morning. So there's been sort of a gap in the timeline of the videos. In between just now and now, uh, we've had a rest day. We reached a point in the ride the day before yesterday where we were completely knackered and I needed to stop filming. It was head down. Uh, you didn't miss anything. It was just main road all the way here. <laughs> so we're now in Florence. It's the penultimate day to the end of our journey. We have 120 miles to ride. We're actually heading inland so we can avoid some of the headwind. Downside is gonna be mega hot, but tomorrow is only 60 miles, so this really feels like the last proper day of riding for us. Looking forward to it? Yeah, man. America. America. So this is a bit different to a couple of days ago, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Like morale is so much higher. So like, it, it, I don't think we actually did, had did, a rest. Did it come in the video? I guess this video has been linked together, isn't it? Yeah, they didn't see the misery. So really like in the earlier, it was yeah. really, really dark. Like we weren't talking to each other. It was just like head down and look at the computer for <laughs> seven hours. And then wonder why the number wasn't going down faster. Yeah. <laughs> so, but today it's been kind of good, isn't it? I mean, like 20 we've, miles an hour. We've averaged 20. We're, we've averaged 19 and a half miles an hour. It's gonna go uphill in a minute. Yeah, but then it so it goes uphill, like peaks at about 1500 feet, and then it's basically, we continue to lose elevation for the rest of the ride. So it is going to be an easy ride. It's only 100 miles. And 20. 120 miles. It's 35 <laughs> degrees. So we stopped here because um, there isn't another stop. Yeah, cheers. There isn't another stop for 55 miles. So we need to fill up his desert bottles, which luckily he kept with him. It's gonna to get to about 36 degrees in a few minutes time. Coke. World's biggest can of Coke. I'm gonna miss it. We get back to the UK. No, I don't no really drink food. That much coke. No portions are gonna be big enough to satisfy us. <laughs> yes, they are. Because <laughs> they're gonna be made. They're gonna be like good, healthy food. <laughs> Not gonna be Denny's. We can get actual sourdough. <laughs> Real sourdough. Not just white bread. I cannot even begin to express how nice it is. Being able to ride at 18 miles an hour without putting that much effort in. I mean, the last three days, we've been absolutely tanking it and doing like 14 miles an hour. It's a, it's a pasty. I know. It seems like it's a calzone. This is not a calzone, it's a pasty. Calzone. So we've stopped at this place called Triangle Lakes. There's a big lake. 
It's in the shape of a triangle. Imaginatively named. We've got about 10 miles before we hit the main climb of the day. It's like a thousand feet in one hit. It's about 14, 15%. So it should be done in like 20 minutes-ish. Fully laden bikes, they'll slow you down a little bit. Then it's sharp descent and uh, then kind of false flat downhill the whole way home. It seems so easy when you say it like that, but it's not. How your legs feeling, man? They were fine, but I just sat on a thorn. Owie! Yeah, ow. Nah, my legs are alright, man. I'm feeling um, a million times better than I did the last few days. Still got knee pain, but... It's because you didn't do any stretching, did you? I did four seconds of stretching. So you didn't do any stretching, did you? Just use tubeless, mate. I'll give you tubeless in a minute, mate. So we just managed to miss one of the turnings. I think we've added a little bit of extra distance on. Looking at the map though, there was a mountain to our left and it was a left turn. So I'm not sure if we've managed to actually cut off a bunch of elevation in exchange yeah. for a bit more distance. I hope so. It's wound up being a bit of a good thing because uh, did you see the road? It was, it was a dirt road. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. I ain't got no time for that. Are you in another bar again? You're drinking beer again? Uh, look. Yay! We got heat strike again, so we've stopped. <laughs> We're back in the desert, mate. Hello? Are you, are you been, have you been to any bars yet that are worth having a party in? <laughs> Lawrence is driving that van. It is going everywhere. More ice on the floor, mate. <laughs> your little song. <laughs> your little ding your little jingle. Oh. Oompa loompa, stick it up a jumper. <laughs> I've got jumpers on the brain because this man left his jumper on the bin. Yeah, what, what, he doesn't what, got what it, was it What was it you said? I said, do you think he left it because it smells bad? And you said it doesn't smell as bad as you. It doesn't smell as bad as me. <laughs> so, right, we've been sat here for about an hour now. Um, waiting for it to get cooler. It's, it's got, got one degree cooler. hotter. So <laughs> we've decided to... <laughs> Ice! We've done the ice, we've done the desert ice thing. Put the ice in the bottles, mainly ice, and then a tiny bit of water. Uh, so at least we've got something to chuck over ourselves. Approximately one hour in this direction. Maybe slightly longer because of the headwind is the next town. Ooh. Not that bad really though, is it? <laughs> <laughs> next town is like an hour in this direction. So um, we're yeah. gonna get there, assess the situation, and then if we have to stop again, we have to stop again. We tank it that direction. When you say tank it, do you mean ride fairly slowly into a headwind? No, I mean 20 mile an hour going that way. Well, the wind's dropped a bit. Uh, According to what? According to my moistened fingertip. Yabba dabba do. What have you got? Something that I earned. A rack of ribs. So, we stopped for some food. He's given us some ice water again. In the last 50 minutes of riding, we covered about 20 miles. Uh, we were pretty much riding as fast as we could into that headwind. And we have got through six bottles of water. Have we explained to the viewers why we get through so much water? We're basically dousing ourselves in it. Uh, it's, you know, it's so hot here, it's 40 degrees. And you basically cover yourself in freezing cold ice water and it's dry in five minutes. That's how hot it is. <laughs> so it's the only way of like keeping cool. So you just absolutely churn through it. I mean, these these refrigerated bottles, these insulated bottles, they're really, are really, good. really well. You're there, your favourite thing ever. Uh, well, they've saved our houses. Yeah. But you know, if you're starting to feel a bit sunstrokey, which we both were until we got here, then you know it's the only way you can kind of try and just keep your, your temperature of down. Water over you. Yeah. But I mean, stay of us. Ridiculous. It's ten past seven and it's, it's probably not for okay, so sorry, it's thirty-seven degrees. <laughs> shade. Nice and cool in the uh, shade. we have got thirty-five miles left to do. Two hours. Call it thirty. <laughs> Optimistic, round isn't it? Yeah, round <laughs> down. I don't think I've ever stopped by the side of the road on a flat bike ride. 
I mean, it doesn't look it, but it's it's 32 degrees still. I think we've reached like a tolerance. Can't even have the camera. Next trip, Arctic. <laughs> Twenty quid each, mate. We would either get there really fast or not get there at all. Hey look, red sky at night. So we've got to our motel. Um, James managed to book it in the scummiest part of town. The latch thing on the door has snapped off. Air conditioner works though. Tomorrow, last ride of Project America. Um, 60 miles, way shorter than anything else we've done. So I'm not gonna set an alarm at all.